Hey guys, it's Maddie from DCLblogger.com. I've just come across some really interesting news. And, um, you know, this is complete um, speculation. If this has anything to do with Decentraland. But hear me out, guys. Annie Mocha Brands, who partnered with Decentraland, I think a few months ago. And here's their partnership announcement. So, Annie Mocha Brands partners with Decentraland. Um, Decentraland said that they're coming on board to build, at the very least, two um, games on Decentraland. Okay, now it says it here somewhere. Let's say two. Okay, Animoca Brands and Decentraland are co-developing two new games for the Decentraland platform. Obviously, they didn't say which games these are. And back then, I did make a video going through Animoca Brands and seeing that they're pretty, they're a pretty um, well uh, experienced company, like game building company, right? Now check this out. So. On the um, ASX announcement thread, um, there was an announcement saying that Atari partners with Animoca Brands to make blockchain versions of Atari games, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Absolutely Massive Game, and Goon Squad. I haven't played Goon Squad, but um, I've heard of it, so it must be a big game too. Now, check this out. Um, so, the partnership is to make blockchain versions of the popular mobile games, Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, Touch, and Goon Squad. Um, Rollercoaster Tycoon Touch has over 19 million downloads. Um, anyway, this goes through the details of their specific partnership. But for me, getting like this partnership is specifically Atari and Rollercoaster, um, Atari and Animoca Brands exploring um, blockchain uh, avenues. Okay, and it says over here somewhere. Um, here we go. To develop a strategic partnership to explore mutual opportunities in gaming, product development, blockchain, and other areas. And I, I just feel like there is a connection here with Decentraland. If it may not be initially with the two games that Animoca Brands announced initially, then it may be in the future if um you know Atari if that kind of venture works out for them. But beyond all that, even if it doesn't have anything to do with Decentraland. Um, I really think it's a great idea, Atari coming on board and exploring blockchain technology. And I feel like these are all leverage points, guys. These are all kind of small um, momentum triggers that get other people listening. So if Atari is taking a look into blockchain, if Atari is going to be developing two big titles into the blockchain gaming space, what other games are going to look into this seriously? Like Sony, um, you know, uh, obviously, we have Microsoft and all these other, they're not gaming companies, but other gaming companies specifically will come in, like the bigger brands. And I really hope that, I know blockchain gaming is a big thing, specifically for the crypto world. It's like a big use case for the blockchain industry, gaming. And it's good to see that if if Atari, if Decentraland has anything got to, got to do with Atari and Atari ends up um, releasing some some of the games in Decentraland, guys, again, it's such a big pivot point, um, not pivot point, such a big kind of momentum point, um, you know, having a huge brand like Atari, can you imagine the caliber of um, partnerships Decentraland can make with the pitch to other game developers saying that Atari is on board in Decentraland and is building experiences, again, that part of it is speculation, but I'm just bringing these two pieces of news together, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, there is or seems to be some form of connection. Anyway, I just really wanted to make this video really quickly. I'm not going to make a blog post about it. It's going to be just a YouTube video. Um, share it and give me your thoughts, guys. Like if you find any more information on this stuff, like let me know.